Question 14. A stone was thrown upwards from a point 8 meters above the ground. The following graph shows the height h meters of the stone above the ground at time t seconds in the interval. t is less than or equal to 4 and it is greater than or equal to 0. So that is the graph as you can see. Move down. Determine the rate of change of h at t is equals to 2. The rate of change at t is equals to 2. So what we need to do, I just go to the graph, at t is equals to 2. We need to draw the tangent to the curve at t is equals to 2. Draw a tangent to that curve at t is equals to 2. At t is equals to 2, this is why it's supposed to draw the tangent. So t is equals to 2 is here. Just move upwards. So you're supposed to draw the tangent that is touching this point here. So take a ruler. And draw a tangent. And that tangent we've said that it is a tangent at t is equals to 2. So this is the point where you drawing the tangent. The tangent should touch that point. So draw the tangent. So that is the tangent at t is equals to 2. So after doing that, to get the rate of change at t is equals to 2, we get the gradient of that line. We get the gradient of that line. So how do we get the gradient of that line? By simply picking any two points. Any two points on that line so i'll pick those two points i'll pick uh, the point from these the point i'll pick so this is where i'll pick from these so i'm constructing this this triangle just to show the points that i'm going to pick so look at that triangle that I formed there. So the two points I'll pick, you can pick any two points and get the gradient. You know how to get the gradient of straight line. So I'm picking this point here, this point, and I'm picking this point. Any two points will work. So I will pick, this point is uh, 2, 8. That is 2, 8. And I will pick this one as well, this point that is here. This point is uh, 3.55, 3.55. So that is 3.5, then 5. So use those two points to get the gradient. So the rate of change, the rate of change therefore is given by the gradient, the gradient using these two points 2, 8 and 3.5, 5. So now to get the gradient, change in Y divided by the change in X. So change in y would be 5 subtract 8 divided by change in x 3.5 subtract 2. But this will give negative 3 divided by 1.5. This will be 1.5. When you divide this,
you divide these you get negative 2 so the rate of change at h is equals to t is equals to 2 seconds is negative 2 